Well, today we are going to use a totally different method. Fully updated method to be able to recover our device. If your device has a lock, the screen also has the forgotten Gmail account. Well today I'm going to explain to you step by step how to recover your device, if it has one. Also as you know that our telephone, or previously had a screen lock, what we did was format it. We reset it, when our phone started. Normally we had this little lock on the left side. Top, that means that our phone has that lock. First of all, we are going to connect to a Wii network before doing the process. We are going to connect. I'm also going to explain to you step by step what you have. What to do to be able to recover your device. I also want to tell you that the description of the video and in the first. Pinned comment we have left you several totally different methods. Updated methods so that also for those people who suddenly can't solve with this video in the video description and in the first comment we leave another totally different updated method so that they can solve it in some way your device if it has a screen lock they're also with the forgotten gmail account i also want to tell you that in this video tutorial we are not going to use the pc we are going to do a completely PC-free method. I also want to tell you that we have EH on YouTube. The community of members for those people who also want to support and can join our community channel then. We would like you to support us by subscribing. What is the benefit of this since we are going from there? to publish videos in advance before they are published on YouTube. We will be publishing them from there. We will click here where it says do not copy. We select that option and from here it would take us to the blockade. Of the screen that was left on our phone would also take us what? It is the Google account and we are there. What we are going to do is the following. We always recommend doing this as our phone yes or yes we have to do this process we're going to give it here where it says forget email and from here we go write anything we click on next here we will also write anything this is to enable us to have one more function go ahead let's do this now for about 30 seconds we're going to do it when those 30 seconds are up we're going to leave Let's do the following. We will now explain what we will need to be able to access our device. As you know, our phone is already the option. Sharing is no longer available and is also not working. When we entered the emergency call and clicked on Google Maps, that function is no longer working either. So what we're going to do is use keyboard of a PC and we are going to use what is a USB-C cable. An OTG, sorry, an OTG with the port, EH. So what we're going to do is join keyboard with our cable and we would have this port. Now what we are going to do is use a locked with pin code and the USB-C cable I mean with the OTG and keyboard we are going to enter now we go. To introduce we are going to introduce here our blocked SIM card with. That pin code now what we are going to do is the following we go. To introduce what is the OTG we introduce the OTG. Ready, let's go to emergency call. And being here on emergency call we are going to write our emergency number. We are going to give it a call and we are going to select enter. As you can see, it is selected with the enter key. We're going to give you the emergency call again. We select with the enter key, here it is. As you can see, if we select an emergency call, we select an emergency call. 
Enter key here, we can enter what our device is. Now what do we have to do? Let's remove the SIM card to see. Yes, yes, we could enter from this way, we will remove the SIM card. We remove the SIM card. We turn off, we turn on, ready. Now what we're going to do is click here where it says skip. We will select the skip option. We select the skip option. Now we are going to click on the back arrow. Oh well, I made a mistake. Let's go back in and we'll be back. We enter again here and this profile will appear. This was the profile that I wanted to give us. We go back and enter. So we're going to select this profile, we're going to click on that profile. We're going to give it here where it says adjustment. Now we are going to select this option here that says notifications. Let's activate those notifications. We're going to click on allow here, now we're going to go back. We are going to click on it where it says improve location accuracy, we are going to click accept. Now we are going to click here where it says Google Location Settings. Ready. Let's click here where it says all the permissions. Nothing. We'll click here where it says see everything. Here we'll click on the three dots. We select the option to show system. Here the Google services will appear. We are going to click on it and as we see it lets us click on it. Well if that is your case that does not let you give it. Click here and you'll see this magnifying glass that appears here. You are going to select that magnifying glass here you are going to write battery. Write battery battery, you erase letter by letter. Well, first before hitting the battery, let's write accessibility. Is that we select accessibility. Here we will enable this accessibility menu. We give it here in allowing. Understood, we go back. We go back again and here now we are going to write battery battery. We select the option that says battery usage. Apps battery usage of the apps we select that one. She herself is going to mark this for us. This is the one she is going to mark. That is the one we are going to select. Now what we're going to do is give it down. Down here we will find this option that says Google services. We are going to give it to disable application and now. What we are going to do is restart our phone. We are going to restart it. Now what we are going to wait for is that. Our, our device reboots completely. That's why if you want to solve what is the account deletion. Of your device I always recommend you watch the video tutorial step by step. I'll go to the end so you don't miss any of these details. Since our phone is rebooting, let's wait for it to start correctly. To then complete the elimination definitively. Since at the end of the video when we recover, our devices always have some errors. How we correct these errors? Well, watch the video until the end so you can solve those errors. Here it took us to this section. What are we going to do? We are going to click back. Come on, let's forget about it here. We're going to give it here it says offline, we give it continue. We accept here we will let the screen flash here. When that screen is already flashing there. So what we're going to do is go back, back. Now what we're going to do is click here on these three dots. Let's select here where it says accessibility settings. Here we are going to click on this magnifying glass that appears here. Now we are going to write battery. We write battery, we go back. Here we select the same option. 
Battery usage of apps, we will select that option. Then we will select the option that is indicated to us again. Then we go up and down. We search for Google services, we enable those Google services. We go back, we go back, slowly. Back, back, now we're going to hit here where it says continue offline. What we have to have, no SIN car introduced to be able to do this process. We accept it. Now I'm going to explain to you what those mistakes are that I was telling you about. That I was telling you from the beginning of the video. Whenever we get our phone back. We always have some mistakes left, how we correct these mistakes, we already explained to you. We're going to give it here where it says not now, not now, not now. Not now, next. If we click on finish here, our device would be fully recovered. But not yet 100%. As you can see, our phone has these errors, let's go down here. Let's go what is setting here and setting we're going to find about phone. When we get near the phone what we are going to do now is to go to what is here to system we go here in the system option. Here in system we will find reset option. We're going to click here where it says delete everything here. We are going to reset our entire device. This when our phone is already restored by complete we would have a phone free of any error. 